Hello, everyone. This is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon Crew, and Beautiful Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. Near Automata is now out on Nintendo Switch, and this is supposedly one of the best games of all time. This is supposedly like a top tier action RPG. This is supposedly one of the most gripping stories ever made. And I can't even be bothered to play it. Uh, that's kind of my stance on this, right? Right now, uh, I have a hard time believing Nier Automata is better than East 8 or any of the other numerous RPGs I own on Switch. Stuff like Fire Emblem Three Houses, stuff like uh, Dragon Quest Builders, Dragon Quest Eleven. 13 Sentinels, like, there, there are just so many games that do what Nier Automata did so much better. Uh, if you want a better plot, play 13 Sentinels. So, I, I uh, when I played Nier Automata on Game Pass, I was, like, very, very surprised at just how much I did not like it, because... On some level, I expected it to be, like, competently made, but, like, it reminded me a lot of, like, how I felt about Devil May Cry when I played it for the first time, in which it felt like the people who are, like, fanatically obsessed with the brand, with, like, the company, with the IP, with, like, the developers, like, the people who are fanatically obsessed with this property don't know all that much about the games that are out there, all right? Like I, I felt this way about DMC when it when it comes to like, ooh, it's the best action game, a game series of all time. It really isn't, and, and just just uh, just like how DMC isn't the best action game ever made, um, Nier Automata is not the best action RPG ever made. And in fact, I would go so far as to say like a Astral Chain, uh, which has a lot of has a lot of the same people working on it, which was a Nintendo exclusive outdid it in basically every respect with like better combat, better level design, uh, more appealing characters. I think I think like female Acura's ass is is way nicer than than two B's. You don't see Astral fan, Astral Game fan, um, Astral Chain fans like banging on about how much they want to like fuck female Akira's ass, but like come the fuck on. <laughs> like I I'm just I'm just curious, like what caused the obsessive, obsessive like push that Nier Automata was like one of the best games of all time? Because it really did last for like a couple of years. Like I think for like up until like 2019, where like people were like constantly talking about it and referencing it and like trying to push this idea that like it really was one of the best games ever made. And uh, it reminded me a lot of like Undertale or No Man's Sky or like Witcher 3. Like it, it really does have that same kind of energy where it feels like a bunch of places PlayStation owners, uh, PlayStation and, P um, and PC gamers, like hyping up a game because they have nothing else to play. Like we, we kind of saw the same thing with Yakuza Zero, which I actually put a lot more time into uh, because I do like I used to like Yakuza before I started like realizing it was kind of shit. Uh, but like Nier Automata is kind of the same way with it. Is in the same position where people are just obsessively trying to tell you that oh man this game it's the best ever it's the best in the series it's it's the best in the genre it's the, it's the best in art of all time and it just isn't um honestly i don't see a lot of switch owners talking about near automata at all like um i only mentioned it like in passing because uh, first of all i didn't like the fact it was coming out the same month as Bayonetta 3, like it felt like Square Enix was like deliberately trying to sabotage sales for Nier Automata to to pretend to their shareholders that like games like it don't sell on Switch. But uh, second of all, and I think this is like the the big thing is that like uh, Switch owners do not are not starved for games the way that PlayStation and Xbox fans are. Right, we don't hype up shit like Yakuza Zero, like Nier Automata, like Halo Infinite, like Forza, like God of War Ragnarok, like Uncharted, like The Last of Us Part Two, like Gravity Rush. Like we have better things to do and play, essentially. Like there is no reason for us to like obsess over like specific games because because uh, we're, we're playing something else. Like, Breath of the Wild is a game that I would describe as one of the best ever made. But I haven't played it all that much in the past couple of years. Why? 
because I've moved on to other things. Like no matter how good a game is, no matter how revolutionary, no matter how innovative, no matter how entertaining, no matter how much you personally love it, like eventually you're going to want to move on to something else. And that's kind of the experience I've had with Breath of the Wild. Uh, I actually do should go back and play, go through a new uh, playthrough. I, I think I should go get it out now. I, I love Breath of the Wild, but I don't obsess over it near constantly unless it's like there's a good reason for it. Like I need to bring it up. Like I'll be talking about it here soon uh, when it comes to some certain controversy I need to talk about. But like I didn't obsess over Breath of the Wild, right? Like I didn't like hype it up as like, oh man, this is the this is the game to end all games. No, like it's uh, it's just a game that I really really like, even though it is the best of all time. I think near Tamada fans are are starving for games, and I think they really need to take a look on what's out there on Nintendo consoles.